All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Bottom Diet of Teletainment this morning. Of course, with that uh, very cool, calm, and collected music, you're going to wonder, say, who be that person? More importantly, now also, who actually arranged them? Remember, so when I started the show this morning, I tell you, say, no, be only me that actually work. We they work as a team. And that's not why we get this particular music producer, because in they work behind the scene tirelessly to make sure, say, that music video where you see so, is they as rich as you they see, I'm helping make welcome this morning. Uh, Mike's Quest, that's my M Y X Quest. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, welcome to the show this oh, morning. Thank you, thank you. Now, um, I know so I will be the talk and I will, I will just talk with you, knowing how your educational background and your childhood uh -huh. and um, say you actually know grew up for Nigeria. Oh, no, um, you uh, get mixed braid, you get the Ghanaian part, get the Ghana, you get the Niger, get, born in the I get UK. A Niger blood, but I go to school for Ghana, so me when I pitch him be different for your own school. Oh, <laughs> you're pitching a different flow, but I think I'll still understand oh, it. Oh, I go for interpreted, no problem. Beautiful. Okay, now so me no <coughs> look now because looking at the the industry, the, the Nigerian music industry uh -huh. and the American music industry where you they come from now, uh -huh. and I know so you get about fifteen years experience. Oh yeah, yeah. For inside the industry, tell us some of the days where we did terrible at the beginning. Oh, for the beginning there yeah, it'd be crazy because. Your feet just work tireless for the studio inside. You know, you they search for deals, you they search for new artists to work with. And since we, Charlie, sometimes the money self no go come, you know, but still for push, for push. So it'll be easy industry at all. And this is sometimes be there where you probably don't think, say, this particular person, if you hold on to this person based on the talent, uh -huh. um, the person seems to have a bright future. But at the end of the day, it can't be like, say, no, be waiting, you be see. Yes. Now the person they get. Yes. So how you take handle that situation? All be patient, so because this industry you enter I'm now, you know, say time wasting go day inside, success go day inside, you know, writers go day inside. So if I just plan your career in such a way, way if the thing would make sense, uh, if I just move on swiftly to the next project. Now looking at our industry, I know say you at least you get a small idea of how the music industry in Nigeria they oh, and yeah, comparing yeah. them to uh, what you they used to overseas, uh -huh. uh, what with the similarities and what's what's so different mm -hmm. between the oh, two? Oh, right, right now Nigerian music be top. I mean. What's making Nigerian music suddenly trend? Because now, if you go overseas, certain clubs or lounges, if yeah. you never play Nigerian music, oh, then you they you never. So, yes. waiting, when was this this switch? What did make the switch? The thing we say all along, the music, the Nigerian music, Ghanaian music, African music, it be music way they it be uplifting people. They enjoy them. It just be the sound way they just do something to honor body. But previously, the industry no day. So the way to capitalize them, no, that wasn't really there. You understand? We now say because of technology and new apps, new introduction of new people, we did the industry inside. No, now then they feed collect money for inside. So now we both man and those people abroad, then they see say, hey, these people, then they enjoy their music, where we they feed <coughs> release the money for inside. So now it's the ten and big, big industry now. Beautiful. Now, looking at the way we produce uh -huh. music, yeah, in terms of um, for for in terms of video production, yeah, and the way music, video music, uh, or music video, I beg your pardon, music music video is actually produced overseas. Yeah, um, we not say when we we'll see the results. Uh -huh. You can't be like say sometimes there's a big difference. You will not say this one they do overseas, yeah, and this one they do for Nigeria. Yeah, sometimes it be like say they are almost at the same level. Yeah, but um, tell us really, what do you feel safe to better? For inside music video production in yeah. Nigeria? Well, for music video production, I mean, the bottom line be budget, really. You know, budget in terms of like the skills of the people where they do them, um, the equipment where they use, where the education too of how you will use the equipment. But now, when are people, they, then they force. I mean, you, if you look at certain videos where right now, I mean, the quality be high, people they put in effort, people they use certain cameras like red cam and things. So I feel say right now where the industry make very, very serious, people too they step up them at them at level. So I think it'd be only a matter of time where the level could be playing field. What do you go say to any artist where we just meet you, we're here say you be music producer and the person meet you say, Ah I beg, I beg, I beg, just help my ministry, help me. And you know say this person no get that potential. But hmm. then the passion way they see for the person body, you know say the person uh -huh. eh? He no get 
that thing where you define yeah. because I know so as a music producer you get something you want to define for yeah. every yeah. artist yeah. you want to get yeah. and this person they come meet you the person they worry you yeah. so that means say, the person is passionate uh -huh. but you know say, the person don't get what you need uh -huh. for inside the person how are you going to take handle that situation well you see in this industry eh, sometimes it not be just the talent where it will push you sometimes mm. it, will, it will be consistency persistence finance so somebody go day way the talent no day but the vim where you get, we would call them vim for Ghana. Mm. <laughs> the power where you get, where the anxiousness where you get to put to to succeed, you know, ego just make them succeed. So sometimes people like that, you go feel just give them chance. You know, go put all your energy for inside, but you go give them small opportunity, make them sure you say, okay, this be what I go feel do. You you understand? Because sometimes them are skills they go feel learn them um, as they go they go feel improve. You understand? The time self than me, I they work plus Beyonce. I work with them for how many years? Then other people there around them, like Michelle and Kelly and them, we from the beginning you will not you not talk say them be talent. Mm. You understand? You go you will talk say oh then just they the destiny shall group inside. But as the time go on, them them find them our own skills, them improve them our own sound. So you know be always where you go get the talent ready, 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 ready. You understand? Sometimes it be the anxiousness, way the, the way they go force where you go make them be successful. Wow, welcome back to the Balance Side of Teletainment. There are a lot of questions over the talk, over the discuss and ask so just behind the scenes uh, with the music producer. We've been on the inside the industry for 15 years. Um, and of course, he's um, not just inside the Nigerian industry, they're even the overseas, Ghana, UK, where you want them, um, you don't work with plenty of people. Um, that is um, the person of MYX um, Quest in the building just before the bar break in be sitting down with us for inside the building so welcome back oh, welcome back now i've been asked you before um with the bar break and what we did on uh, off air um say looking at a lot of artists we'll get nowadays um some people believe say artists suppose get a particular kind of song where they are supposed they they use or they, they like, release like particular genre genre, genre uh -huh. of songs that they release uh -huh. uh, because to them to some people not brand uh -huh. take for example uh -huh. a lamar yeah they would not say Lamano, they sing rap. You yeah, know, they, they do, 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 like do. Soul, you know, it's a so yeah, cool, calm, yeah, you know, yeah. and collected kind of songs. You know, even coming down to our industry, imagine like, um, <clears throat> imagine like, um, a Tiwa Savage yeah. or is he a Waje? You know, we know the uh -huh. kind of songs yeah, where we yeah. expect those kind of people yeah, come yeah, bring. Yeah. Then for them to bring something different, yeah. um, people will go a little bit, yeah. but they go one take back yeah. before they finally accept that song. Oh, but honest. you feel, say, every artist, yeah. suppose, belong to general songs or. They're free to do what they want to do. I Me, mean, from my perspective, I figure I say, definitely you for be expressive, right? But you also for be smart. So if you know, say, your main fan base, they know you for doing Afrobeat, where now you they want to do jazz, you for process. You have process where you go transition, go the jazz inside, or even introduce the jazz. Mm. You understand? That'd be the key thing. Me, I know the figure I say you for suppress your your creativity. Definitely, if the jazz day, your, your, your body where you want, release them, um, no problem. But then how you go transition them, how you go combine them, that'd be the main thing. So it would be the process of the marketing, where you go combine your different markets, where people go see, say, oh yeah, they do Afrobeats, but still, they do jazz as mm. well. That'd be, the, that'd be the key thing. All right, now that's the business part that'd of be the showbiz. That'd be business part, yes. Of showbiz. Now looking at, um, um, Looking at waiting, you don't come outside talk, and, and looking at waiting, you self don't get as personal project. Tell us about the new music where you just released, because I know say now audio, so we don't get the video uh -huh. of who to actually watch. But yeah. tell us about this new song. Oh, so my new track, um, be called Tingi Ningi. Okay. <laughs> the the word be like it be like phone phone the ring Tingi Ningi Tingi Ningi. So me then um, some artists for abroad artists for Ghana called Kelvin Boy, okay. Ide plus Stone Boy. You be stone boy and artist, so you big big artist for Ghana right now. We you bought artists for UK called Angel. Okay. We they play. I'd be like you guys. They play music so, yes, here a lot. R&B singer. You big singer. You wear plus Brandy plus Swiss Beats. All those kind of people. We another up and coming artist called Kimani. So the track we call Ting and Ningi. This track self it be more Afro fusion, Afro beat. Where my previous tracks be like more hip hop R&B. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the way I they do the marketing, that'd be why I did Niger. You understand? Because I know go go Niger without the type of vibe where people they expect. You understand? Okay. Um, so that'd be the new track. We they drop on Friday, 13th. Um, you're already a day radio, cool FM, they support them. 
you That's know, okay. the day radio for UK Capital Extra, BBC, um, plus Ghana and things. So, yeah, I, I look forward to one. Awesome. Now, we know so they do, you do media tour right now yeah. for the for the audio where you get uh -huh. any Correct. radio actually um, um, commercial release. So, tell us how... How affordable or how expensive this hey, media tour do you Especially <laughs> with the way we Make call a commod, this thing, my collection you know, bolo, you know, my looking collection at everything bowl. and looking at how it is because we know say the industry is not um is not as cheap oh, as um, no, people definitely. people make it or people think it is. Yeah. So tell us how just how you don't manage or the challenge you face doing this media tour. Yeah. Or I mean, all be budgeting. You know, that'd be the thing. Like, if you have budget where, you know, say, with the release track, this be the, the, the money you think put inside, where this be the results you want gain from them. That'd be all the thing. You understand? So, if you put X amount of million naira inside, where, you know, say, the results you want, maybe it go be money, or maybe it go be shows, or maybe it go be more publicity, increase for your social media, or whatever, or for be written down. Me, every, me, I they advise everybody say whatever, even if you be thousand naira, that way you get way, if a break come down, where you go know how you go spend them. But rightly, I mean, music be very, very, very expensive industry. It be very expensive industry because all the companies, before then, the major record companies and things, they go give you money, they go dash you money, they go sign, sign artists <laughs> from the beginning, just from the talent stage. When now, then they expect, say, already, you for release at least a few songs already. You for have music videos already. You for have your style already. You for have studio recording, mixed and mastered, no wahala already. You know, these things, they cost serious money. You know? I imagine. I think the industry, so I know how expensive. Oh, so you know, it, yeah. It, it, but for a lot of people, where they're out there, they actually think, say, so once they don't sing, especially the up-and-coming artists, yes. when they know the nitty-gritty yes. inside the industry, they feel, so once they don't play, they don't release song. That don't go studio to you know that set. Yeah. You know, so yeah. by that time, already oh. after that time, money's going to be drop, the stage one. You know? Exactly. Nine this is money going to drop up and down. <laughs> so so really now now good thing say so you don't come outside talk. I'm so that they all get prepared and they yeah. realize that life is not even a bed of roses. Oh, definitely. For, for them at all. No. So really for, for those kind of people now, speaking about uh -huh. the up and coming artists, which other advice yes. you feel to give to them? Me Maybe the, I the use advice their ear always that they give me say, learn the business. Contracts relationships, business management, music industry, industry stuff. This thing be free. You go, if you go online, study them. Where you go give you more knowledge, make you know how to push your industry. So contracts, music industry, business, and relationships. If you meet somebody, uh, how you go fit, enter your relationship with them, how you go continue that relationship. It be something for learn how to do. Because you know, if you just they pressure people, oh, Okay, I'm making listen to my track, my track, my track. People just go write you up. They go block yourself for Twitter and Insta. So right. even communication to be another thing. Beautiful. So where people forget your audio? Oh, so the Ting audio, Ting and Ningi, they drop Friday. It will be on all social media platforms, all media platforms. Um, if they search me, you go search M-Y-X-Q-U-E-S-T. M-Y-X-Q-U-E-S-T. Yeah, so that'd be, for social media. Yeah, that'd be Mike's Quest over Twitter, Instagram. Even my website self, mikesquest.com. Your feed, send me a message a day for you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And of course, we wish you the very best oh, on thank this you your so media much. tour and your projects where you get. After thank this one, what time. else are we expecting? Oh, more projects day. More I they I they won't work with more Niger artists. That'd be my thing. Beautiful. You know, there'll be so many artists, but they'd be so dope for here. You know, like the tennis and even some new ones like Good Girl LA and mm -hmm. Singer and stuff. So I they won't do more work for here. So I go day Naja a lot more times go to studio. Thank you so much for coming inside Thank the studio. Thank you for your time. To enjoy more of this our Ugonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.